Hi hi, Mr. Seligman here, and welcome to the music room. So, you have an ukulele? Check. But then you try to strum it. It sounds kind of weird, a little wonky. And it's the last thing you want to sound as you're trying to learn how to play the ukulele. And even if you place your fingers the right way that I taught you earlier, it sounds kind of nasty. So what's the problem? Well, sadly enough, your ukulele is out of tune. The good news is, it's a simple fix. You just tune it. And if you're in my class, even easier. You have a clip-on tuner, hopefully. Or if you're not in my class, or you've happened to have lost your tuner, well, the good news also is that it, there's a lot of different brands out there that are great to use, cheap to use, and also, even if you can't buy one, there are online solutions as well. They work, they do the job, they're not the best, but they do the job. Regardless, all tuners fall under the same ideas. Here, you have a tuning arc. When tuning, our job is to make sure that we get our sound to zero. Anything on either side is a no-go. And if the tuner has its arms on the left side, that means that it is lower than it should sound, or what we call flat in music. This will happen if ooks are left out in the sun, or just out too long, or if strings are strummed a lot, or if there are new strings. There's a lot of reasons why, and you can't always blame your brother or sister for it. <laughs> Our job is to make sure it goes, to, goes higher to reach to zero. Sometimes you might have the string past zero, too far to the right. That means it might, you know, be tightened too much when you're tuning it up or if the weather changes. But again, our goal is to get to zero, so we will have to loosen the string. If you're using a tuner that Casilla students have, there's only one button in the back. Hold the button, that power button, turn it on. Once you turn it on, you want to tap that power button uh, several times until it says ukulele on the very bottom, since we're trying to, you know, tune ukuleles here. If you cradle your ukulele with your right arm and your head is facing to the left, to the left, um, then from top to bottom, the strings go like such. G, C, E, A, except when we eventually tune it up, it'll sound a little better. <laughs> G is our fourth string, C is our third string, E is our second string, and A is our first string. So we count our strings from bottom to top, farthest from our face to closest to our face. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the fourth string, the one that's closest to our face, the G string. When you play it, the letter G should pop up. Right now, it's a little too low. As you'll see eventually, the meter is on the left side. It's too flat, it's too low. So we're going to have to tighten that up. What that means is we're going to have to find the, the peg that this string is connected to. This one right here. We're gonna have to turn it counterclockwise, meaning to the right. To loosen it, which is the wrong way to do it. So we're gonna turn it actually counterclockwise until we have that note get to zero. On this tuner, when it's in tune, it turns green for go, which is awesome. All right, G's in tune. Now let's try our C string. As you can see already from far view, the C string is in the blue section, which means it's not right. As I play it, it's once again, the meters are too far to the left. So that means I'll have to tune and twist my C string counterclockwise to the left to tighten it up. Looking for that green, looking for it to reach zero. That's up. And that's close enough. Next up, our E string. Now this one's too far to the right, actually, so we have to loosen it up. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. It's easy for us to know clock is in counterclockwise for the first two strings, or rather the bottom strings four and three, because they're close to our face. These guys, on the other hand, the E string and the A string, gets a little more tricky. You have to still twist it counterclockwise, but from the perspective of this side. So either you think backwards or you tune your top two strings like this, whichever works best. Let's see how this guy looks like now. And now it's green. Awesome, awesome. And lastly, the A string, our first string. This one's pretty close, it just needs to be tuned just a wee bit to the right, it's a little flat, which means a little low.
There we go. And our ukulele is now in tune. Awesome, awesome. That concludes this video on how to tune your uke. But that's just the beginning. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for the next video on different kinds of chord starting patterns. Actually, I don't know if that's coming up next or we'll find out. Watch the, uh, make sure you keep, a, keep your eyes peeled for the next video on the ukes. Um, and if you have any questions on how to do ukulele, you are always more than welcome to email me at jonathan.seligman at cvesd.org. Um, and, but until next time guys, uh, start tuning, go explore, go experiment. I'll see you next time. Bye.